So to summarize, we saw how modal analysis is used to determine the vibration characteristics of linear elastic structures. We discussed resonance and how modal analysis can help us to avoid designing a structure that has a natural frequency that coincides with the excitation of the structure. We also see that modal analysis is the typical starting place for dynamic simulations and common to many more advanced dynamic analyses such as harmonic, random vibration, and response spectrum. Reviewing the equations of motion, we see how modal analysis is an eigenvalue problem. The solution of the eigenvalue problem is introduced and applied to both a simple and a more complex structure. We also discuss participation factors, effective mass, and effective mass fraction, and how they can be very useful as tools to better understand the dynamic behavior and significance of the different modes. The topics of free-free modal and pre-stressed modal were introduced and when these concepts might be applicable. Finally, we wrapped up the discussion with applications of modal on a simple tuning fork, as well as on a much more complex model of a skyscraper. In later sections, we will continue the discussion on dynamics, building upon this foundational topic of modal analysis.